Hello everybody, I'm Sammy, and as you can hear, I have a soundboard now. It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, today I'd like to show you five apps that in combination will allow you to hack a whole lot of games on Android because if you've been trying to hack games on Android lately, you know that using just one singular app is going to result in you very likely not being able to hack any particular game that you're trying to hack, okay? So what you're going to want to do, in my opinion, and in the opinion of all the experts, anyways, is uh, <laughs> to use as many apps as, as you possibly can in order to cover as many games as possible so that your chances of actually hacking a game are pretty high. So the first one I would like to show you is, as always, Game Guardian. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I love this one. It's it's it's, pr it's pretty awesome. It's a memory editor, just like Cheat Engine on on PC, for example. If you know that one, and it allows you to hack a lot of games, especially like the single player variety of game, um, such as for example this one, which I'm going to show you right now, which is called Hopeless. It's a game where you shoot evil evil monsters that wanna wanna get you and and eat you anyways you see that soundboard is pretty awesome anyways so what this allows you to do is just you know you get this little button right here the, the game guardian button and it allows you to scan for values in in your game uh, b b pretty simple in my case I wanna get my my gold up so what I would do is I go into the search and I search for my gold value which is at 30,000 right now and yeah essentially it scans for every value in the game that is at 30,000 right now and it gives you a list and then allows you to change all those values now at the moment I have too many uh, to actually change them because it would probably crash the whole thing and we don't want that so what you do is you change the value in game through gameplay or whatever so in my case I would go to the shop and I would buy something such as a weapon for example for 30 actually I can't buy something um, th those are too expensive let's let's buy some utilities let's buy something for whatever so now it's at 20,000 I changed it I can scan again for now 20,000 now what it will do is it will scan for something that's now at 20,000, which has previously been at 30,000, which should should get, get us closer to finding the right value. And there we go. We're left with a few. Let's just randomly change some of those. Just add three zeros to that number. Yes, yes. Oh, actually, is okay. Let's add two zeros then. Okay, let's 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 not do that then. Let's take another one. Let's go for nine 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 nine. Yes. And oh, that actually did it. And as you can see, I now have a one million dollars, and I can go buy the biggest weapon there is, which is a hundred thousand. So yeah, it's essentially that is how Game Guardian works. Okay, it works in single player games, doesn't work in games that use online servers, and it um, does require a root. Okay, a lot of these tools will require a root more than previously for example the tool that I'm going to show you freedom APK previously like I don't know like six months to a year ago in 2017 didn't require a route to the older version of this app but now it does Cree hack as far as I know still doesn't require a route and the other ones that I the other the other ones that I use game hackers requires a route because it's also a memory editor just like uh, game guardian and Xmod games uh, does require a root as well, okay? Now, if you really wanted to go without a root, I would recommend you um, get yourself the internet, you know, the internets. And, you know, you look for for modern APKs online, okay? Now, that's Sheetware, that's our website, that's where you can find all the, the, the apps that I'm showing you, you know, the way you get here is just Google Sheetware, you'll find our website. And then on the front page, you can just click whichever app you want to download. If you want to get Game Guardian, for example, you you tap the Game Guardian and you download the Game Guardian. Very simple, very simple. But you know, um, as for modern APKs, essentially that's the only way to get hacks for a game <clears throat> without having to use one of these tools. Okay. Now the problem about modern APKs, when if you want to find legitimate ones. I, 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 it's, it's very hard to do. What I would recommend you do is you go to hackerbot.net, my other website. What you would do to do that is you just Google hackerbot, 
um, and you go to the first page on, on, on the Google or the Bing and you go to find, okay? Here we have uh, some legitimate lists with providers for modded, AB, uh, modded APKs that usually forums that usually post good ones, okay? Not always virus free, but uh, but I'm trying, okay, guys? I'm trying to give you legitimate providers. It's a very um, spammy business, business, the modded APK one. So if you want to go without a route, you need a modded APK. Modded APK's legitimate ones are hard, hard to find, okay? Very hard to find. So I, I totally recommend using our custom search engine that you have here. Uh, we will keep it up to date. We will uh, remove spammy um, forums if they become spammy in the future so that your devices and your, uh, you know, your downloads are safe. So that's what I recommend you do. Go to hackerbot.net for finding real modded APKs without viruses, clean ones, and cheatware to download tools. Now, SP Game Hacker is essentially, it is the same thing as Game Guardian, okay? Uh, it does the same thing, and it requires a root as well. It's not quite as complicated as Game Guardian. Um, it, uh, it, uh, th that's not even an opinion, that's just the way it is. It is less complicated. It's a very simple version of Game Guardian, essentially. So, cue the waiting music. I'm in my mom's car. Uh, anyways, uh, I'd load it. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm bad at the soundboard stuff. Anyways, so it's it's a lot easier. Okay, this is Game Hacker, SB Game Hacker. Link in description as always. Uh, yeah, this is essentially it's it's just a lot simpler. You don't have all the advanced options that you have with Game Guardian. It's just input the value and change it. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole process again because I'm already at like nine hundred thousand coins, which I don't need anymore in this game. So whatever. So that's the other one, Game Hacker, very highly recommended as well if you're a beginner, it still requires a root. Guys, if you don't want to root your actual phones, just what I'm using is I'm using Bluestacks and Knox mostly. And uh, those are really good um, emulators for, uh, for rooting, okay? Bluestacks needs an external root. Sometimes it works with King Root, but usually not. And Knox comes pre-rooted, but doesn't allow you to run all these applications. So if you don't have an old phone or a phone that you don't need anymore with a, a Google account that you don't need anymore, I would recommend you use an emulator to use these tools, okay? And even for modern APKs, I would recommend, please guys, use an emulator, but just be safe. Don't use it on any um, phone or device where you're connected to your main Google account because guys, malware for, malware for, um, for Android it is becoming a problem, okay? And it's definitely gonna be a problem in the future, okay? You don't wanna install some shady modded APK that's gonna root your phone and turn it into a Bitcoin miner or whatever, please guys, okay? Be careful, please. I implore you, I, I beg you, please, please, for your own sakes, be, be careful Wh where you download stuff, who you're downloading it from, make sure that, I, I always recommend go to a forum, you know, go to hackerbot.net, Find legitimate ones. That those are usually forums, uh, modern APKs, where you can actually check what people are saying about the APK that they're downloading in real time. You know, make sure that in the last 24 hours someone has said something positive about the thing, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Always validate that stuff. Anyways, so uh, the free in-game purchase apps, uh, the obligatory ones, obviously, um, Freedom APK and Cree Hack. Um, Freedom APK requires a root, Cree hack does not. Freedom APK, in my opinion, a lot better. They both essentially work um, in, the, in the same manner in that um, they, they emulate Google purchases for you, okay? However, very important, you need to uh, disable uh, Play Store updates and you need in your settings to uninstall any Play Store updates that you have installed. Make sure that your Play Store version is below nine else this will not work because in um, more recent versions of Play Store, Google actually pa patched the exploit that allowed for free in-game purchases in single-player games. Again, if, you, if the game you're trying to hack is uh, processing um, stuff on an online server, which means if it's an online game that requires a connection, it's uh, most likely not going to work, okay? So the way this works is um, you buy something for the real money, and uh, it has it just, has it stopped has it stopped working for some reason oh no there we go and you get a free card as you can see right here 
You press the buy. I don't have any, by the way. This is just a dummy account. Um, I don't have any payment methods attached to this. So you just buy with your free card, and there you go. You now have more gems or whatnot, and you can spend it as you wish. Okay, very very nice. I I very much recommend. It's very nice. Anyways, and uh, also. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I really like this one as well. Cree hack, basically the same thing. Doesn't require a root, but also needs a really old, old version of Play Store. I, I'm, I'm actually, I do have a, uh, a, a version that's too new to actually use Cree hack at this point. So uh, it's so uh, old that um, you might, you might even have to root your phone to install an older version of, of Play Store and, and uninstall the factory version, which is kind of ironic because it doesn't require a root. So, uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, I do recommend that one as well. Uh, I use those two in, in uh, together, just free to maybe can't react. Just if, if, if one doesn't work, I use the other one. That's how you do this. Uh, same with Game Guardian. If one doesn't work, use the other one. Um, newest versions of Game Guardian have two different versions. If one doesn't work, uh, use the other one. I think it's like hardware acceleration, like one uses it and the other one doesn't. I usually just use HW, but I'm using Bluestacks. I don't know. Uh, if HW doesn't work for you, use SW. So they're really advanced in that way, okay? And the last one that I wanted to show you is Xmod Games, because it's kind of like modded APKs, uh, but it's 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 a launcher basically um, and whatever so what it, what it allows you to do is just install mods to your games uh, you can even see the mod button I uh, already installed a mod for Fallout Shelter that's uh, it's essentially a uh, should I say a better better but worse version of modern APKs in a way uh, better in that you don't need to visit any shady websites and download any so any shady files you know the people that are providing this are at least semi-legit. I mean, they try to push ads on you and whatnot, but but they but they mean well. Like they they do a good job. Uh, it's however it's worse in that you never know if it's it's gonna work on the version of the game that you have installed on your Android device. So it's kind of a gamble. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can see, you know, it's like a trainer. Like here, you have the options that the cheat will add, and yeah, uh, I like it personally. It's it's a very simple thing. Uh, it doesn't hurt to install it, and yeah. Um, it, however, it does require a root, as so many of these do. It's uh, I think it's a beginner version of modded APKs in a way, a safer version of modded APKs because you know they're not gonna download viruses to your phone. On the other hand, it's not as powerful as as conventional modded APKs, so. It's really up to you what you want to use, Xmod games or actual modded APKs. Guys, as always, um, you can find the links f on how to download all of these programs, all these apps, rather, in the description below. Uh, or you can just go to cheatware.net. You can just Google it. Do it! Do it! Do it! As Shia LaBeouf would say, just do it! Anyways, make your dreams come true. Don't let your memes be dreams. Uh, dreams be memes. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> I've rambled on and off. Uh, you can download everything there. And for modern APKs, I recommend go to hackerbot.net. Hackerbot. I can't even write the name of my own websites. It's awful. And go to find. And under find, you will find a search engine that will search legitimate websites for modern APKs. Okay, for your specific game. And I would recommend you download from one of those because there is hundreds and thousands and millions of spammers out there that make a living by um, providing fake uh, modern APKs and viruses and uh, having people fill in surveys to get cheats that don't exist. It's, 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 a, it's a mess. If you've ever looked for a modern APK that's legitimate, uh, you, can, you can probably attest to that. So... Anyways, guys, I've rambled on long enough, uh, but I, I hope this has, um, you know, been a good experience for you, and I'll see you guys later.